the hypothesis of the study serves as a tentative solution to the problem prior to any experimentation. It serves as a guide to the research design. A hypothesis is tested by conducting the actual experimentation. Usually, researchers suggest an answer to a problem they have defined by formulating the hypothesis. The hypothesis that they have formed is usually based on the information they gathered. They may form more than one hypothesis from a single information since there are many possible solutions to a problem. Each possible solution must be tested. To test whether a hypothesis is correct or not, researchers make observations and conduct experiments to see whether the results support the hypothesis. A hypothesis is based on the objectives of the study. It is used as a guide in doing the experimental design. There are several ways to state the hypothesis, but usually the null hypothesis is used. Let us recall the two types of hypothesis that were discussed in your grade 7. So the two types of hypothesis are null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis. The null hypothesis is denoted by H sub 0. The capital letter H stands for hypothesis and the subscript 0 implies no difference. This is usually designated by a not or no term, which means there is no change. The null hypothesis is formulated for the purpose of either accepting or rejecting it. On the other hand, the alternative hypothesis is denoted by H sub 1 or H sub A. The alternative hypothesis will be accepted if the sample data provide us evidence that the null hypothesis is false.